Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the tensile strength of the concrete. Why the tensile strength of the concrete is ignored or sometimes taken very less as compared to the concrete compressive strength. So I will explain this with the help of an example here. So we know that concrete is a material, is a construction material that has a very high compressive strength. Concrete has a very high compressive strength and that's why they are most commonly used in the construction material while on the other hand it has a very low tensile strength. The concrete has a very low tensile strength and usually the tensile strength usually the tensile strength of the concrete is taken as 10% of the compressive strength. Now what does this mean? I will explain here with the help of an example now. The tensile strength of the concrete is taken as only 10% of the compressive strength in most of the design or sometimes it is ignored in the design of any structure members. So for example if I consider this is a beam, any beam and these are the supports provided to the beam so when the load acts on this beam so here it deflects like in this way the beam deflects like in this way so at the top we have compression our compressive stresses while at the bottom we have tension so at the top we have compressive stresses at the bottom we have tension so for compression concrete is enough to take the compressive stresses concrete is strong enough to take the compressive stresses but here for the tension the concrete has low tensile strength, the concrete has low tensile strength, so what we do, we provide the reinforcement bar in order to take the tension. This is reinforcement steel bars because they have a very high tensile strength. So that's why for the tension, we always provide the steel reinforcement bar. But in design, it is taken as 10% of the compressive strength of the concrete. So, what does this mean? That the tensile strength of the concrete is equal to the 10% of the compressive strength. It means that, for example, if my concrete has a compressive strength, if my concrete has a compressive strength of 30 megapascal. So, what does it mean by 10% of the compressive strength? It means that the tensile strength is only 10% of the compressive strength. So it means tensile strength is equal to the 10% means 10% multiply with the compressive strength which is 30 megapascal. So 10% means 0 0.1 multiplied by 30 megapascal. So we got here 3 megapascal. So the tensile strength of the concrete is only taken as 3 megapascal in the design of any structure member when it has a compressive strength of 30 megapascal. So it is really less, only 10% of the compressive strength is taken here in the design. Now there are some of the tests to determine the tensile strength of the concrete. What are these tests? So these tests are, some of the tests are used to determine the tensile strength of the concrete these tests are the direct tension test on the concrete cylinder or cubes direct tension test to determine the tensile strength of the concrete the second one is the splitting tensile strength splitting tensile strength tensile test and the third one is the flexural test flexural test so these three tests are used to determine the tensile strength of the concrete but usually it is taken as 10% of the compressive strength. So hope you guys understand the tensile strength of the concrete topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.